Hey, what's up YouTube? Your boy Chris. I'm out in the Caliente garage for another installation video. And today I'm going to install these lighted radiator grill panels for this new style Honda Goldwing. And these will fit Goldwing's your models 2018 or newer. And it's going to give extra visibility to the right and to the left side of the Honda Goldwing. So stay tuned to this video and I'm going to get these unboxed. And then I'm going to walk you through step by step on how to get these installed on this new style Honda Goldwing. So let's get started. So before I unbox these twin art lighted radiator grill panels, I want to just take one moment to thank Gold Strike for sponsoring the Caliente Garage with these grill panels. Thank you. Now, let's take a closer look at the grill panel box. It says it comes in chrome and it comes in black. So we have the chrome version here today. See what comes inside. So we're going to just dump everything out on the table. Make sure we got everything out. We have installation instructions, two sheets, two sheets of installation instructions, alcohol pad. And also we have some zip ties and we have the high low screws. Get these opened up. So we have panel covers. We have a RH, which stands for the right side. And we have a LH for the left side. We have the lighted housing. And a second lighted housing. And these lighted housing will plug directly into the Gold Strike wiring harness 48000. And also on the wiring harness, if you run out of connections, you can just pick up the wire splitter and that wire splitter plugs directly into the 48000, giving you an additional connection. And I will include a link in the video or you can pick up the wire adapter as well. So it looks like it's going to mount just like this. It tells you right there on the back, this is, would be the right. That's obviously the left. So it's going to mount on the side of the Honda Go Wing like so. And we're going to plug it directly into my wiring harness that I already have installed on the Honda Go Wing. So the best way to do this before you install it on the Honda Go Wing, you want to look at the you want to look at the grill or the panel. You got LH and you got RH. And this is going to be the left side. So it's best to assemble this before you even put it on the Honda Go Wing. So you're going to take the light. And you're going to just mount 
I'm gonna go ahead and get it started. You're gonna take the screws that came in the kit. You got three screws, three high-low screws, and you wanna just assemble it before you even install it. And also, I highly recommend bench testing the lights before you actually install them on the Honda Goldwing, just to verify that they work. So you want to assemble this off of the bike, get the screws mounted in. It's plastic, so you don't want to over tighten it. Once it stops, you want to just stop turning. Don't want to crack the plastic. Ensure the tightness. So once you got them assembled, uh, we can do a bench test off the bike and just verify that it works. One. After placing the Honda Going on the center stand, the next step is removing the seat. If you need step-by-step -step instructions on how to take off and remove the seat, from the new style Honda Goldwing, be sure to click on my video link in the top corner and I'll walk you through step by step on how to remove the factory OEM Honda seat from the Honda Goldwing. So I'm gonna just plug in and just do a quick bench test just to verify that it works. This would be the, the left side. So I'm gonna plug in to the panels wiring harness on the left side and it'll plug directly into the kit 48000 which is the gold strike plug and play so i'm going to just plug it in for the left just want to verify that it works and then i'm going to turn on the bike and just make sure that it turns on as you can see it's working and now now that it's working, I'm going to turn on the left signal. Just to verify that it works. So before you install your lights, always bench test to verify that it works. So I'm going to remove these wind deflectors so I can have access to the side of the Honda Goldwing. I'm going to pop off these little plastic covers from the wind deflector. And now I'm going to gonna just remove these wind deflectors from the Honda Goldwing. Just two screws. Making sure I don't lose my spacers. Now that I remove the wind deflectors, I removed the one bolt that holds my wind deflector. So for your installation, you're gonna just remove this one bolt. So I'm gonna pop out the bottom of the side panel. Being careful not to break the tabs. And I'm pulling back on this cover and pulling down on the panel. Just wanna pop it out. just enough to get it about halfway. I'm not gonna take off the whole side panel. I just wanna get it about halfway, okay? So the objective is to run the wire along the side of this plastic panel. I'm going to take out this little bolt, sit right here on the side of the Honda Goldwing. I'm gonna just remove this side bolt one bolt, I'm gonna take it out. That way I can kind of open up this panel just a little bit. So now that I have the one bolt removed from the lower panel, I popped out the side panel just about halfway. I don't wanna take it all the way off. The objective is to run the wire along the side of the frame behind this panel on this Honda Goldwing. So I'm gonna look for an access point. And I just wanna feed this wire, feed it through. And 
and I'm gonna pull this wire along the frame underneath this plastic panel. I'm gonna just feed it up. Just gonna feed it up along this side panel. Just pull it out. Now we got to make sure this area is clean real good. You want to make sure you use soap and water to clean the area and then dry it off and then use the provided alcohol pads that came in a kit to clean along the side of the, the lower portion of the grill. Now you want to give yourself a little bit of slack and this is going to fit. And with this plastic, you got to push, kind of push it back out of the way. So when you set it inside, it is going to go directly along the contour of the bike. And you want to just make sure you got a good fit before we permanently mount the, the speaker, the uh, grill. So I'm just gonna take this out. So my next step is I wanna clean this area with some alcohol. I'm gonna take some 91% isopropyl alcohol. And also I'm gonna use the alcohol that came in the kit, but I'm just using this to clean the area. Again, the directions say to take soap and water. And I guess it just depends on how dirty your bike is. Take some soap and water. And clean that area. Got to get in there and just clean it. So now that I have the area clean with alcohol, we got to mount the lights and we're going to peel this two sided tape. And we're going to just lay it, make sure this wire is out of the way. And you're going to get this, you're going to have to pull back on this plastic panel. Give yourself a little bit of slack. And then it's going to mount up. going to go in at an angle. So I'm going to peel this two-sided tape. So before I mount it, I'm going to put on some, some rubber gloves. Okay, here we go. Push this all the way up to the top. Pushing. You want to just get that set inside like that. And it's best to use these rubber gloves so you don't get any oil from your fingers on the two sided tape. You just want to line this light up right along the side of this Honda Gold Wing. Now I'm going to push this wire behind the panel. Pulling out the slack. And now I'm going to push the panel lights. I'm going to push the panel back inside of the slots like so. Perfect fit. So now that I got this installed, now you can put back the one bolt. In my case, I'm going to be putting back my wind deflector.
If you missed a video of how I install the wind wings, wind deflectors for the Honda Goldwing, be sure to click on that video link in the top corner. If you missed the installation video of the wind wings, wind deflectors, and they work great, be sure to check it out. So now I have this side completed. I have the wire ran along the side of the bike coming out of the, the seat. I'm gonna place this one bolt back through the side panel. And now we can start on the right side of the Honda Goldwing. I wanna do a dry fit and make sure that the panel fits inside of this slot properly. So to do this, to get started, in my case, I'm gonna to have to remove this wind deflector. So now you can remove the lower bolt from this side panel, and then you're gonna pop out this Gonna pull back to separate it, and then you're gonna just pop it out about halfway. You wanna get it just above the painted surface. You don't have to take this whole panel out, just wanna get it up about halfway. And the next thing is cleaning the area real good. You could take some soap and water, clean it real good, dry it, and once it dry, you can take the alcohol pad that came inside of the kit and clean this area. So I'm gonna take some 91%. I just wanna clean that painted area. I wanna ensure that the tape actually sticks. And that's the thing about 3M tape, is that you wanna make sure you got a good clean area for the 3M to stick. So now I'm gonna take the alcohol pad that came in the kit and I'm just gonna just clean along the painted surface. I'm gonna get behind it. This panel is really flexible so you can actually bend it. And now you wanna let this dry for a few minutes. So we wanna just do a test fit and just verify that everything is gonna line up. So the best way to do the test fit. So next I wanna take this one bolt I'm gonna take off this one bolt here on the side. Makes it easier to run the wire. I'm gonna take this fiberglass rod and I'm just gonna feed it down the side of the bike. I'm just gonna pull it through. I'm gonna take a little bit of tape, a little bit of gaffer's tape and I'm just gonna tape, and I'm gonna just pull it through the side of the bike, just fish it through with this fiberglass rod. I'm gonna just pull it up. Now that I pulled it through, I wanna do a dry fit. And you can pull out on this panel, makes it easier to move. Just to verify the fitment, you can lift up on this plastic to get it in. So now that I've done my dry fit, I can go ahead and peel the 3M. Just wanna peel that 3M. 
And now when I place the panel inside of the grill, I'm going to just pull up on this plastic to ensure that it I'm going to lean it. As I lean, I'm picking up. I'm pushing. I'm just sitting it into place. And I'm just press fitting the lights into place. And now I can put the panel back into place, pulling back out on this plastic piece. Now I can fit that panel back into place. So now that I have the panel into place, I can put back this lower bolt. In my installation, I'm going to put back the wind deflector, two bolts, one on the top, one on the bottom. For your installation, one bolt on the bottom. And now I can put back that lower bolt. And these wind deflectors do really well on keeping the wind off of the rider on the Honda Goldwing. If you have the newer Honda Goldwing and you're looking for some good wind deflectors, be sure to click on that link at the bottom of the description and I can show you where to pick up some wind wings for your Honda Goldwing. So now I have the bolts tightened in. Now that I have the wind deflectors installed back on the Honda Goldwing, I have the side panels installed and now we can go ahead and get the lights connected to the Gold Strike 48000 and turn on the panel lights. So now that I have the wires ran along the side of the bike on the left and the right side, here are the plugs. The next thing is connecting the, the panel lights to the wiring harness. If you already have the 48000 on your gold wing, you're going to plug the lights directly into the Gold Strike wiring harness. In my case, I have one plug left. I have one plug remaining on the right. And also I have one remaining on the left. I even have it written down here where it shows right. And over here it says left. So I'm going to just plug in the lights from the panels. Just gonna snap it in. Snap that light in. And now I can snap in the light from the right. I'm gonna take the, the wiring I'm going to plug in to the right. That's the thing I really love about the Gold Strike is it's just plug and play. If you run out of if you run out of places to connect your plug and play, you can pick up the Gold Strike wire adapter. I will include a link in, in the description of the video or where you can pick up the wire adapter and it plugs directly into the 48000, giving you an additional outlet. Now, let's turn on the bike and verify that the panel lights are working. So here we go. So as you can see, the right panel is on. I'm gonna turn on the right signal.
signal is working. Let's check the other side. And this is going to conclude the installation video of the twin art lighted panels for this new style Honda Goldwing. I love the way everything turned out. It gives extra visibility to the side of the Honda Goldwing. The installation was very easy and I really love these flashing amber strips along the base of the lighted panels, just giving the Honda Goldwing extra visibility to other motorists. Also, I want to take one moment to just thank Gold Strike for sending over these twin art lighted panels for the new style Honda Goldwing. If you like this video, be sure to click the like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And I will talk to you guys later. See you. I'm a